Hey everyone, welcome to Abstract Boss. So today I am gonna show you guys how I make my favorite alcohol ink coasters. I call them Fire and Ice, red on one side, blue on the other side, and gold on the middle. It's beautiful, it's fun, it's a great and easy slash intermediate way of working with alcohol inks. So let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments below. But besides that, I walk you through everything. Um, and enjoy. Let me know what you all think. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss any more of my videos. Have a great day, everyone. All right, so I have a lot of alcohol on here. I know a couple people were trying to recreate what I was doing and you need to have a lot of alcohol for it to be able to flow really well and to keep flowing. Um, you don't want it to dry like that. So the thing that I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna do my split style with the alcohol ink and I am going to do blue on one side, red on the other side and the gold in the middle. So, so sorry, my Husky is deciding to chew on her antler right now. Ella. <laughs> So I'm just gonna squirt the colors. Um, you can tell because there's, you know, it's about the same level as everything else. It's sitting with the alcohol. It's not drying, you know. Ah, uh, need cut. <laughs> All right, now the gold will be in the middle here. Sometimes you, depends on how things flow, but you might wanna just do the gold after. You'll just have to add more alcohol and then the gold. Um, but I like to do everything in one nice cool stroke. It seems to work really well for me. So that's what I'm gonna continue with. And then just slowly move it around the way that you want it to go. Notice I'm trying to keep the gold in the middle, so that's why I keep blowing it back that way. See how the color lightens? That's how you know that the alcohol is drying up. Okay, so then what you can do is you can always add and just focus on one side now. So you can start with just a few drops. I do a lot, you guys can see that I don't, you know, sting on <laughs> the alcohol. Um, <laughs> in all cases, <laughs> just kidding. But yeah, here's, and you could just, I like to push it in a bunch of directions. Every single time you push it, it's gonna create a new line. Be careful, you're working with a heat gun. You can hurt yourself, it does burn. Okay, and then see how you get all these different lines each time. Now, if you don't want it to flow too, too much, you're gonna have a different type of line if you're just doing a dot. I do not want that for this particular case. So now I'm gonna use slightly less alcohol. I'm just gonna do a few dots. Some people will use alcohol blending solution for this. Um, they find that the alcohol blending solution doesn't tear away as much color from underneath. Um, I like that it tears away that color because you notice it leaves some, it makes the blue lighter, okay? Because it kind of erases that color. So it starts to pull that away. And I really enjoy that. Um, so that's why I love the alcohol itself. Um, so I'm gonna continue to go the way that I do because it works and it's way cheaper. So I like cheaper. Might have to switch up my red here though. Notice how that second layer really pulls in the color of that sangria. Oh, I freaking love it. So, and then the last but not least, if you wanted to add just a little bit more gold wherever, um, like maybe right here, I just sort of allow it to come out in a little line. I do the same thing with the gold, a couple dots, and then spread it around. If you do no alcohol 
and you just put the gold on top, you're gonna have a lot of difficulty getting it to spread because you can see kind of like that metallic um, ink that sits on top there, that's gonna happen and it's not going to pull out and you're actually gonna bubble it and burn it. So always have some type of fluid, either alcohol or the blending solution for it to be able to flow out, okay? And that's what you do. I'll go ahead and watch, um, I'll let you guys watch as I finish the other five. Um, I will need to get some more sangria though because I am out, out, out. Might switch up the color here. Um, I have a another red, so I'll see how bad or how different this red is, um, and then go from there. Oh, they're pretty different. Mm. More sangria. Okay, but I will speed you guys through the rest of the process. Let me know if this did not make sense to anyone um, in the comments below. Just ask your questions away, um, and let me speed you through, and I'll be right back. Quick note, do not throw these away. I order the large four ounce containers to refill these things with. I just somehow missed this color. That's why I need to order this one. Um, so that way I can put it into the littler container. You'll save a lot of money that way. Ella, you are being obnoxious, but I love you. <laughs> what are you doing? She stops and listens. What, Mom? What are you saying? Okay, so what I'm going to do for these four, since this is an obviously different red, you can tell on the one that I just did, so that's why I'm going to leave those two there. It's got that nice, deep sangria red. Um, I don't have another color that's going to match, except for maybe... No, this plum one will definitely be purple. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make... That's going to be a set of two that I can sell as like a cheese board and then I'll do these four together um, unless they all look good together we'll kind of see at the end and, and play it by ear 